Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. We're back here at the Altruist Camp. And, of course, this is probably the mecca when it comes to symbols from the Chiliad mystery mural. Not only can you see the mountain right there in the background, but it is the only other place in the entire game where you can find the jetpack symbol. And I have a feeling that all of these different symbols here at the Altruist Camp are really pointing towards a hidden step needed to solve the Chiliad mystery, and that step is an eclipse. We've seen some gameplay of a possible eclipse, and there's some pretty interesting anomalies going on with the sun. And you can even see a man. If you haven't completed the Altruist missions yet, you'll see a guy just standing there, sometimes naked, staring out into the distance. He is probably watching out for an eclipse. Hopefully we can pull off this eclipse. I know we're all working together to try to solve the Chiliad mystery and somehow we're all missing that one step or how to trigger it properly. So hopefully we can work together to solve this thing and find the elusive eclipse. The biggest clue that Rockstar gave us of all to tell us that not only is the altruist cult very important, but the eclipse is as well is the altruist website. Go ahead and type it in here in the GTA 5 internet. There we go. You can see the main symbol for the website is an eclipse and Morse code messages which have been found all throughout San Andreas shown off in different lights, radio broadcasts, underwater you can hear Morse code tapping and as you can see there's even Morse code right here on the internet. So let's go ahead and check out these different messages each one has a different color, so that could mean something as well. And this will be kind of a reaction video as we read the message, and we'll see if maybe anything correlates to the Chiliad mystery, perhaps a hidden step of some kind. Let's check this out, guys. The first message is the Industrial Revolution has been a disaster to the stability of the human race. Interesting, they definitely seem to be against the whole industrial uh, generation, of course, and we do have the industrial region in Los Santos, so that's probably a good place to check out. The next message is almost all would agree that continued focus on the superiority of the sub-40 younger generation will result in the catastrophic and tragic end to our civilization. Damn, it seems like they are very much into just the older group and you kind of have to prove yourself to get over the age of 40. And as you can kind of tell, maybe eating some of the other members of their cult, uh, it's going to get pretty crazy. Man is a nocturnal animal by nature? See, that one does not make sense to me, guys. Most people are asleep at night, unless you have some sort of condition or a job that makes you stay up. Most people are passed out. So why are they telling us that man is nocturnal? It's almost like we have to do something at night. This one says, those who exist in the industrial technological society bathing in sunlight, all right, sunlight, and electronics, suffer from psychological problems that's a very interesting message obviously it includes sunlight but why would they link that to psychological problems hmm hypervitaminosis causes or wait hypervitaminosis d causes abnormally high concentrations of calcium which can cause harm to the heart kidneys and bones toxic concentrations are a direct result of exposure to the sun Perhaps they are not going to be using any vitamin D from the sounds of it. I don't know. That's that's pretty nuts. This one is in red. It could be important. It says crowding causes stress and aggression. I think we've seen lately from some recent events, especially here in the U.S., that crowding definitely causes plenty of stress and aggression, and that is probably why the altruists want to stay away. Primitive societies, ones where clothes and tools of the Industrial Revolution were not needed, provided a stable framework for the function of society. It seems like they are staying away from massive cities as they want to stick to themselves for sure. One cannot complain about the decay of traditional values yet embrace technology. Obviously they are once again very anti-technology. Maybe they watch the Terminator too much. I have a feeling that robots are going to be taking over so I think the altruist camp has the same idea. A man as an individual working with an autonomous group of individuals, sounds like robots again, all of whom are naked in spirit and cloth, remain healthy to himself and others. Seems to be a overwhelming theme to these messages. 
Sub 40s only exist as subsistence to all the altruistic man and gains life from consuming them. Does that mean they have to eat the other members of the altruist cult? What? Wow. I don't know what to make of that one as well. Not too sure. I, this kind of points back towards Trevor a lot for me as well. He's the one member of the Ultras camp that we know of. So maybe all these messages are all pertaining to him. And the last hidden Morse code message here at the Ultras camp says, ban clothes, ban lies, ban deceit, eat of the flesh, drink of the blood. We shall be free once more because we know altruism, the greatest good for the greatest generation. We shall boom again. Clearly, these guys are all baby boomers. It's kind of a whacked out generation in some aspects. Look what they have become, but still, they somehow know about the Chiliad mystery, and they have, on top of everything, the jetpack symbol and all these different hidden symbols. We know they have the cave at the base here, and that seems to be where it all comes together. How did the messages, you know, the Morse code, the eclipse, and that cave all link up to help us out with the altruist involvement in the Chiliad mystery, guys. Let me know what theories you have. These could be a lot like the Epsilon cult, almost something to just be confusing, you know, maybe not even meaning anything. I know they're mentioning the egg over at the Epsilon cult. They're mentioning the sun here at the altruists. But why would Rockstar go through all this effort, even creating fake websites and fake organizations and linking it? to this big unsolved mystery, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Definitely let me know what you think. I really need your help. As I hadn't read through those messages in a while, I kinda wanna do it all on the video so we can try to crack these messages together. Catch you guys very soon. As always, make sure, stay trippy, my friends.